This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe time playing this game. And I kind of suck at voiceovers, so sorry about that. All right, sausages, welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. So today we're going to be meeting Matsuki at my house for baking some cupcakes. So let's get to it. It's already Sunday. I'm getting increasingly anxious about Natsuki's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself that there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I wonder if she'll act any different when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We sent each other one after exchanging numbers to double check, but it turned into a conversation. She's almost a different personality on the phone, using tons of emoji and cute language. She also really likes complaining about things, but I kind of saw that one coming. But putting Natsuki aside, I haven't heard anything from Siori since she left the club early on the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Siori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Siori's feelings aside when she might need me? I decide to visit Siori before Natsuki comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her, I'm coming over, much like I've done in the past. Once I reach Shiori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we're family. House is quiet. Siori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange for her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom, where I finally find her. Siori? Hi, Jason. I sit down in her room. Sari forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sari's room is as messy as it always has been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations she's had for years now. <laughs> came over more often, it would be such a mess. <laughs> That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Natsuki today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Zeri had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? <laughs> That's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to help be helping Monica today? Of course! But I'm helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it just means Natsuki then. <laughs> yeah! There's more silence between us. Zero stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Sarah smiles, shaking her head. It's no good, Jason. Huh? Why well, can't it just be like it, it's always been? This is my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come right today. Just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori. I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Huh? Ah! Uh. Sari gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Jason. But... You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. Just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? Ah! <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Jason? 
I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and care into waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Siori kept this for me the entire time that I've known her? Does she really want so badly for me just not to think about her? Why, Sayori? Why is it you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you have to do is tell me. You don't understand at all, Jason. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes. It also feels like a bat being swung against my head. Ah! That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then, I discovered something else too. See you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why, that's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. Ah. You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Siri. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Jason. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that I could have that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streamed down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. Now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. Ah! Jason! Sayori. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then it's just a bonus. Please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Jason. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She stops. She starts sobbing, sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this, Jason. I. Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. What I want is for her to know that I care. If you have to tell... If you have it into to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Chitney Siri finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Jason. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary, too. Sari lets me go. And as she does, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. How'd you like for me to spend it all with you? Um... Uh... That's what I want. I promise. 
Hi. I think that'd be nice, Dad. Yeah. There he wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. All days. This has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't! Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Natsuki to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It'd be fun. To my surprise, she shakes, shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that'd be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of for me, for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I'll look forward to it. I say goodbye to Siori and exit her house. On my home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking that when Natsuki is about to come over, too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much. We're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. I spent only a few minutes back at home, anxiously waiting Natsuki's arrival. Before I know it, she texts me to let me know that she's outside the front door. Without delay, I open the front door to let her in. Sup! <laughs> That's a cute outfit. Uh, hey! I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki in something other than her school uniform totally threw me off. Seeing her in such cute clothes made the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. <laughs> Jeez, don't make it feel so awkward already. It's gonna be a long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. <gasps> a different background. I see you brought a lot of stuff. Natsuki's carrying a large bag that is probably full of baking supplies. Wow, I didn't want to come all this way to find out that your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. You, brought ev you bought everything I asked you to, right? Uh, yeah, I did. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. Good. Glad I could count on you to do your part. <laughs> well, of course. I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that, rather than something snarky that she usually does. But it could be that she's a little different outside of school after all. Why can't I read today? <laughs> anyway, let's go to the kitchen. What? You're not even gonna offer to take this heavy bag from me? Where's your hospitality, Jason? Uh, come on. <laughs> Since when did I need to be a gentleman? I grab the bag that Suki holds out to me. <laughs> this is ridiculously heavy. <laughs> I carried that all the way here. Are you impressed? <laughs> I see now. <laughs> yeah, I am impressed, Natsuki. It seems like I always underestimate you. <laughs> it's because I'm so small, isn't it? Jerk. <laughs> Natsuki hits a fist into my chest. <laughs> hey, hey! Size has nothing to do with it. Do you already hate being small that much? Do you really hate being small that much? Eh? Mm. It's not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm worth my size. But it's fun to be small and also and also get better than other people. But... Jeez, never mind. What are you making me say? Don't you think... you can make me talk about weird things just because... Don't you think that you can make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school? Are you getting started or what? There's lots of stuff I gotta teach you. <laughs> what? It's a little bit more like you. <laughs> You're fun when you just speak your mind like that. <laughs> hey! Now, <laughs> now you are treating me like a kid. I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know? Just because you don't have a mature... <laughs> just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri doesn't mean that you should treat me like... Ah! <laughs> Natsuki catches her word. <laughs> and her face turns red. <laughs> Natsuki. <laughs> Forget it. I didn't say anything. <laughs> I should apologize. Eh. I appreciate that you're trying to be nicer. I should have been a little bit more considerate, too. But also, if that's what you're thinking, you should know that there are tons of guys in, who are into body types like yours. Huh? How would you know that anyway? Just trust me on this one. <laughs> Gross. Hey! Was that to me? Who else? Man. Let's just get this started already. 
You get all sour when the girl calls you gross. I finally found your weakness, Jason. Natsuki smiles deviously. Please spare me. Well, if Natsuki decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm not fighting back. But she's satisfied enough for now. Finally, starting to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flour, spilled fluid. Spilled fluid? What? And plastic bags are strewn about every countertop. The mixer isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we've had to do it several times. Meanwhile, Natsuki is babysitting all of my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious baking. Jason, where did you put the food coloring? The batter is going in the oven soon, so I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the back next to the table. What are you using it for? To color the batter, of course. Making each tray a different color. That way, even if the flavors aren't different, everyone would still pick their favorite. Ah, that's a cute idea. Are we doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Ah, you're asking me? I don't really have a preference, so... Come on. Not putting any heart into this at all. Can't you at least try to have fun? <laughs> I'm having fun. I'm not really sure why Natsuki is what Natsuki is trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, I see her separate the batter into smaller bowls and put a few drops of food coloring in each, into each. Ah, that does look pretty cool. See? It's not like baking is just about following instructions. Presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth it in the end if just looking at it makes everyone's eyes lighten up. I uh, like the ones that you made on my first day, huh? I recall Natsuki proudly presenting her cat-shaped cupcakes and Sayori and Monica's delighted expressions. I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that, too. Yeah. Maybe I will use the food coloring, then. It sounds like you're starting to understand. So make sure you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. We were using the electric mixer for the batter, so I got stuck with a whisk and a huge bowl for the icing. Eh? The icing's still all lumpy. Are you even trying? Oh, yeah. It's, it'll just take a little longer. And jeez, I'll be here all night if I do it like that. <laughs> here, look. Natsuki grabs a whisper me and uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. You really need to beat the crap out of it. <laughs> That's a few seconds. The consistency of the icing, the icing has already improved. <laughs> See? As if to emphasize, Natsuki sticks a finger in the icing and pops it in her mouth. I reluctantly start to do the same. Uh, hey! Natsuki grabs my wrists. I don't want your gross fingers in the icing. <laughs> Oh, my icing. <laughs> Your icing, eh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? I start fighting back, trying to inch my finger toward the bowl. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next. I'd like to see you try. Push harder. Just enough for my, feature, my finger to reach the icing. I triumphantly scoop some with my finger, just as Natsuki tugs with all of her might. Ah! The force of Natsuki pulling me causes me to stumble, making her stumble in turn. Gross! Get it on my face! Whose fault is that? <laughs> There's a big glob of icing on Natsuki's cheek. Mm. She tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. Jeez. You know what? Take this. Natsuki instead wipes it off with her finger before shoving her finger toward my own face. You wish. I'm faster. I grab, my, I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Natsuki tries to use the other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. Oh. <laughs> Stop. Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine. Sorry for calling you gross. You know I don't mean it. It's fun just seeing you react to it. You do that to me all the time, you know? Saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. <laughs> Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. I take Natsuki's finger and put it in my mouth, licking off the icing. Oh, what? what? Did you seriously just... Ah! Uh, Natsuki's so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. Uh, Jason? You really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. You know that, right? What kind of question is she asking me just like that? How did the moon, moon turn to this so quickly? I... Natsuki gazes at me in silence. I notice her shallow breaths. Why am I starting to feel... Dizzy. Eh. Out of nowhere, the fire alarm starts going off. Natsuki rushes over to the oven. Is something burning? 
thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. <coughs> no wonder. You left a dirty tray in there, dummy. How could you make a mistake like that? Should have checked before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for your mistakes. Chase. So he uses an oven, uses an oven mitt to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. She sets it on top of the stove. In another moment, the fire alarm stops. Anyway, I'm putting them in the oven now. It, yeah. Attention from the moment before she lingers over our heads. But the moment has already been lost. To watch as Natsuki slides cupcake trays into the oven. Then I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing like nothing ever happened. Ah! That smells so good! Cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet smelling warm air fills the room. Look how cute they all look! She probably shows off different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. They look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. Natsuki hands me some plastic bags. I have the nozzles that will make it look all nice and fluffy. This one can even make flowers. But I won't be using it this time, though. What's this one for? Pick up the no one of the nozzles that has a much thinner tip than the others. That one's really thin, so you can use it to make stripes or other patterns. You can also use the right stuff on a cake. Like, happy birthday or whatever. Huh, I see. Gives me an idea, actually. Eh? Well, it's a literature event, right? You can make it more literature themed by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It'd be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on a word they like. Uh huh. Hmm? I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid. But that's actually a really cute idea, so... <laughs> Maybe you're getting it from you! <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on. I'm not at school. Nobody's judging. You, can, you can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think that you're cute. Uh, well... Natsuki's voice trails off. Same with you. <laughs> Did you just say something? <laughs> no. Nothing. Let's just do the icing. Natsuki picks up pace and fastens a nozzle onto each of the bags. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Without giving me a chance to think about it, Natsuki quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing, and then we get to each get to work. When we're finally finished, Natsuki, fi uh, Natsuki puts them all side by side to admire our work. Look at how pretty they are together! Yeah, they are, aren't they? Uh, I wish I could have one now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but... My dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. Haha. <laughs> Sayori's so the exact same opposite in that regard. If she was here, she'd probably be down ten cupcakes already. And she'd still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Well, anyway... I was hoping we would have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. Uh, already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. You should have thought about that. It's not like you'll always have this chance. Man. As usual, Matsuki places the blame on me. Can't bring in the can you you can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Sayori each carry some, they could probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I could do that. Don't worry. I won't let her eat any. <laughs> I should listen to me the way she listens to you. Ah. Uh, yeah. I again think back to the conversation I had with Sayori earlier today. I felt so helpless. Sayori always does listen to me. But at that point, it feels like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. <laughs> you too. I'll walk you out, I guess. Just like that, Natsuki's already about to leave. Feels like the afternoon just went by in a flash. More than that. Did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her like I wanted? Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, wait, Natsuki. Huh? You said before about not always having this chance. It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun baking can be, like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over any time, okay? I think that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere... Um... Do you really mean that? Natsuki looks at me tensely, like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah. 
I want to spend more time with you. Jason, I only really cared about getting this done. Uh, I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, so... Natsuki something gets closer to me. Wait, Natsuki! Standing inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel her fingers gently clutch the sides of my shirt as if holding onto me. Her rose-colored cheeks and matching eyes fill my vision, along with her slightly parted lips. What is happening? My head starts to go dizzy as I feel her soft breaths against me. I have felt it. For a while now. Uh, Natsuki suddenly jumps back. Uh, sorry. Uh, 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 hi, Jason. Sayori. Just now you weren't... <laughs> it's okay, Jason. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, oh, well, you should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so... Oh, really? That's too bad. Uh, yeah, well, uh, I'll see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. <laughs> Clearly flustered, Natsuki hurries off and Sayori waves goodbye. Sayori? I, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Uh, well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me, so I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Natsuki, and how close you got to her. It makes me really happy. That you made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Jason? I'm supposed to be happy for you. I just feel like my heart is split in half. That hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. It'd be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. But it's true, Jason. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have had to waste your time, your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Uh, Sayori. What I said before is true. I'm not gonna let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden on you. your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any pain anymore. But... Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Jason. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori. It's true, isn't it? I was weak, and I started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Jason, I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. I... Uh, that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. If you don't understand all of your feelings... I know what you need the most right now. That's what I'm going to give you. Sayori. Okay. Um, we're going to leave it here. <laughs> Cliffhanger ending. Uh, no, this episode is already half an hour long. Um, <laughs> anyway, when we come back, we will uh, decide. Um, anyway, <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Uh, don't forget, comment down below and let me know what you think so far, or even what you think I should do tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe it'll make a difference? I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, bye-bye.